it says 36 inches, so we did what it said, but we actually need to take a half inch off of 11 boards. So, you know how projects just sort of tumble out of control and you start on one project and then you have to fix something to get to that project and it just... That's what we're seeing right now because the tire on the tractor over there it doesn't look like it right now, but it is actually flat and... You can kind of see that. So because the tire is flat, we need an air compressor. So I could have driven all the way home, but we, we've gotten to the point that we need a second air compressor out here. So I was like, Harbor Freight. So I went to Harbor Freight, got an air compressor, plugged it in. It charged up to like 50 PSI and shut off. And I'm like, what's going on? So I check everything and the generator reset switch had tripped and it wouldn't go back. And I was like, dang. So I moved over to the other generator and it charged up to about 100 PSI and it shut off. And we lost power on both our convenience receptacles. So I realized it's because the air compressor takes a 15 amp fuse and this is only a 10 amp fuse. So it kept tripping that. So we can't inflate that until we can't inflate that using the convenience receptacles. So I now need to wire legs, leg three, neutral and ground up. So in order to do that, all my wiring got sent to my address in California. So it's not here. So I pulled apart our box truck, which I loathe. And it was kind of therapeutic to tear into that thing pulled that apart and salvaged a bunch of wires out of the electrical components of the box truck. And I'm going to make a circuit breaker box with 20 amp fuses that will be sufficient to fill my tire on my tractor. Which the only reason I need the tire filled is so that I can drive it in and out because the road is so flooded. It's, it's just one thing spirals into another. But the good thing is we're learning all about the generators and how the insides work. So good stuff. Good stuff. Hey, love. Hi. How's it going? It's going all right. We, what are you uh, doing? I just realized that all of the boards that were cut to 36 inches, we actually, it says 36 inches. So we did what it said, but we actually need to take a half inch off of 11 boards. So we're going to make a new jig and do that. But uh, we're going to get those put on the exterior so that the kids don't fall out, hopefully. That's the idea. Safety third, right? Yep, safety third. And then after that, we're going to work on making the last little platform that sticks out. And then we can actually put some of the fun stuff on, like the steering wheel and the mailbox and stuff. So. Nice. So what you doing? Now I'm rewiring this plug so we can have a quick disconnect because the fuse box is not going to be waterproof so it can't stay out in the weather. So I'm going to wire this quick disconnect, which is a 60 amp 120, 120 volt disconnect. I'm going to wire that up so we can pull the circuit box and plugs and everything and put them inside when we leave, but I don't have to unwire from the main lugs because uh, that's more of a pain. It's easier to have a quick disconnect. So. Yeah. We are hoping today will be our last day working on this swing set. We've got right over here, you can see that two by six, one and a half by six, and that two by four up there at the top, there's a small platform that's going to come off of there. And you can also see that our generators are up and running. Oh, they're not running at the moment, but we can plug them in as soon as we're ready. Oh, I can drag it. Yep. Good work. It almost hit my head. Okay, watch out for the ladder. <laughs> This is eventually going to stand up, but I think what we're going to do is leave it like this right now. There. Dad, 
Yeah, it won't go nowhere. Whoa! Ready? So twist this. Uh -huh. Here, put your hand on it. Ready? Twist it once. One. Twist it again. And we go. Once that little thing goes up, you can let go. Nice work. High five. Boom, baby. All right, now comes the fun part. Let me see. Let me check our measurements. Look at me double checking measurements. It's almost like I want this to not fall down. See, with enough clamps, uh, well, with enough clamps, you can almost get it. With enough clamps, you can kind of come close to maybe, possibly, but not really getting it. <laughs> bit of hope. Oh, yes, dude. Ah. Come on. Ah! <laughs> That's what I call making it fit. So this is what we did. We made that clamp or this uh this bracket, which was meant for nominal lumber, we just sort of forced it around so it fits. But the lags are in. It is going to be it safe. Here. Are you serious? Uh -huh. There's a whole nother one to do? Daddy, uh -huh. Daddy, I cut out can more. I spit? No, please don't spit at me. I mean on the ground. Yeah, but where am I standing? Right there. Yeah, so please don't spit at me. So this one has been notched. So it should. Do you see right? There. It should theoretically be a lot easier. I, I notched it, it out. But you know, uh, it should only slide in or out. Hand me the persuader. Oh, it's actually the tiniest bit off, but it's by like an eighth of an inch. All right, so these actually are lined up way better than uh, the last one was, so. Yeah, this is way better. Ask me if I measured it twice. Did you measure it twice? I did not. Because <laughs> I forgot. I just started screwing stuff in. All right. So looks like we're ready so that's to put this, our... this bad boy up. Or no, I, I need to put in yep. the cross beam and then we'll put this bad boy up. Downside. Just strap right in. Under this slide. I just need to persuade it. Check out the spider that just crawled up my hand. Hey, little guy. You gonna make this your home? That's a cool looking creature. Yes. Okay, but now we have to put screws in all the way up there. I have a thought. No, 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 no. Okay, Kaylee. No. Ah. 
that you are the best. So this has to go to the end of this 4x4? That's what I assume. It just says attach like that. Hold on, buddy. This is where it's really helpful to have a very tall husband. Yep. It is. I mean, not that I would have a really tall husband ever, but... Uh... So we're putting the roof on, mm -hmm. and then we get to put the fun stuff on. Mm -hmm. We got our stairs. I'm up. Got a nice uh, spyglass. We've got a telephone, nice little extra platform. We'll put the steering wheel up tomorrow or the next day. That little platform stepped down. And then down the slide. And then down underneath here, we'll have a sandbox, and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so we finished the place structure. I mean, there's a couple little things here and there that we need to add still to it, but it is standing, the slide works, it is safe for the kids to play on, it is done. This has been a very fun project, very cool way of doing something, and it worked really, really well. Um, yeah, should be fun. Give the kids something to do while we're building the house right over there. Thank you. Are you, are you excited? Yeah. Is it fun? Uh -huh. What's your favorite part? Um, the steering wheel. Yeah, go try it. Yeah.